The Whiskey Brothers Podcast is intended for an adult listening audience. If you find yourself easily offended, I guarantee this will do it. They don't want no problems. Nah. From Houston, Texas. The Whiskey Brothers Podcast starts now. Welcome, everybody, to the Whiskey Brothers Podcast episode. Did I even write it down? Where are we at? 817? Jesus. 817. That is a... uh, I think that's an 817 a, that's a, on the end of the cover cop. That's a mm. Dallas uh, area. I don't know. We're, uh, we're the Whiskey Brothers. Look who's oh, here. Uh, Slade Ham, your host. Rob Mungle, your uh, forever leader. Trey Tutson, who What's is up, uh, over in the corner. And then Sam Damaris via the internet. Yeah. Sam yeah. made it in. Dude, we got everybody. It's uh, I, we, we, we pre-taped last week. Uh, we had a contest going. I've been, uh, oh, two yeah. weeks ago, it was the last I heard, and we were all, everything was starting to creep out of quarantine, and now we're all back in a different kind of lockdown. And oh, that's... yeah. It's, it's... What happened? God damn. Oh, you already know what happened. <laughs> well, you already know what happened. That was rhetorical. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got, we got to shoot some real whiskey and uh, do this real quick. Uh, let's get this out of the way, though. We were giving away a prize pack, Rob. Mm. Yes. This prize pack consisted of a lot of stuff. Uh-huh. I don't know. There's a Batman drawing. There's some stickers. There's some empty liquor bottles that are signed. There. We've got all that stuff. T-shirts, everything else. Everything. My anime poster. A signed poster by wow. Rob Mungle featuring some of his animes. We, we got stuff. Mm-hmm. But the big, the big prize yeah, yeah. is that you get to come sit in and play a game, a racehorse or sex act. Mm-hmm. Right. We'll put you right there in that little corner down by where we're like the opposite side of Sam. And yeah. we'll play racehorse or sex act with you. Um, but we got to give these away. So the three runners up, and I forget what you get. I know you get a lot of stuff. Uh, you got so something. You're going to get something in the mail. And the three runners up, uh, Andy Bull. Yeah. yeah. Arthur Hamilton. Yeah. Okay. And Melissa Prather. Wow. Yeah. Good for them. Those are all our three runners up. Now we still have a grand prize to give away. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Grand prize? It's still here. Yeah, the big one that lets you play the whole racehorse or sex act oh, with us. Yeah. That's the grand prize. Yeah, these yeah. people just got some. I thought we just, you know, we gave them like jizz. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Just jizz. Yeah. Now. Just hey, by the way, uh, mm-hmm. by the way I, I know there's some people out there trying to reach me right now. I'm on my phone, I can't see the comments. <laughs> uh, I lo- I, no, I mean, I got people texting me. They're like, hey, Anna, how you doing? Hey, Andrew, I, how's everybody? Uh, I got people texting me. They're like, hey, I'm giving you a shout out. I'm like, I can't see it. I can see your text messages, but when you do, it's a very loud text notification right into my fucking ear. Uh, well, if anybody says anything important to you, Sam, I will uh, make sure the message is relayed. To those of you watching at home or in your cars, I don't know where people watch these things. Anymore. Do you just sit on the couch and watch these? Are we bathroom fodder? What is? What are we? What are, I'm thinking bathroom fodder. What have we been? Yeah. Del- are you good? Mm-hmm. Man, you took that like a man. Wow, just yeah. a little sip. I've never been more on edge in my life. <laughs> I have I'm so not drinking much... water, fellas. What yeah. the fuck are you drinking? What is that? An old eggnog? Cognac, <laughs> motherfucker. Trey said eggnog. Yo, shit all it's foamy cognac, at the top. Baby. Why is it so foamy? Is You're that ice? Cognac? What are you, it's Frazier? Like... What the fuck, cognac? <laughs> oh, my God. For God's sake, nice. I'm out of whiskey. That... I'm out of whiskey. Yeah, Where yeah, your okay. ass got at? You got to drink that shit with an <laughs> ass got. With the goddamn... <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Who the little Frosty Flake motherfucker? Who that? <laughs> what tiger is that? Tony the tiger? Tony. That's his name. Anthony. Anthony. <laughs> you Frosty Flake you, dude. I don't fucking know his name. I forgot his name. Fuck that dude. <laughs> you look like Tony the tiger <laughs> drinking when you drink on your You need a right? <laughs> <laughs> You drink that with a lap dog, bro. That is a lap dog. Oh. Voice groggy and everything. Yeah. <laughs> well, who's our winner, Slade? Do you want to do it now? Oh, whatever. I don't you care. You want to do it now? Or you want to do it, it at up the break? Top? What are you doing? Oh, we're gonna tease. Nah, we Just won't do it. Make them wait. Make them wait. All right, Sam's in charge. Well, we know three people who aren't. <laughs> That's right. We've eliminated three, so the rest of you are still in the running. Damn. Still in the running. I don't know what's gonna happen when we put a civilian on to play racehorse or sex act. They gonna one- fuck it up. Yeah, well, of course. Well, it's certainly gonna be funnier <laughs> than. Yeah. <laughs> They fucking know. What do you think? That's what civilians do. <laughs> Dude, they had this fucking late. I had a, a, the show in Humble. I, uh-huh. I like, like, it, it's it, I, you know, I, you miss live shows. Oh, yes. and you, miss, you know, you go and you're like, oh, it's so good to be in front of people. And then you remember, like, oh, this is why all my friends are comics. <laughs> like, this is why I don't fuck with regulars anymore. Yep. Yeah. I'm at the I'm at the show. I'm on stage. This. Oh, uh, welcome. <laughs> Sam just said you became welcome. a real boy. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. 
you broke your cherry, baby. Man, the second you say that, the second you say that, you're one of us official. I was fine, but I, I was good. This, I was on stage, and I told this joke, and this lady Terry. Uh, I ended up finding out her name. She, oh. she, but she was like an OG Karen, like like she went by Cap. Yeah. But the, the, Terry's you know I mean? Terry's are OG Karens. Oh that yeah. That is a, yeah. once you once you turn yeah. the, once you turn sixty, I think you become a Terry. Yeah. It's a Karen okay. is pre sixty, and then Terry's are all after that. So she yells out, "You're going to hell oh. in a handbasket after on a scholarship, after bitch. some <laughs> Jesus joke I told or whatever." Uh -huh. And I was just like, "Lady, please shut up before I make you come and never call you." Like like <laughs> like just just please. So. <laughs> so <laughs> Uh, your fucking oh. AC guy. Yeah, oh come, come, come on in. Is he pissed yeah. at me? No, nah, we're, we're, we're just working it I didn't out. I mean it's to disrespect <laughs> Jesus like that in front of... <laughs> you guys keep talking. If it would yeah, be does anybody... Does it feel warm in here now? Yeah, it's because you're in hell. No, it feels great. It feels fucking fantastic. <laughs> That's the reason it's so Dude, hot in here. If my grandmother house felt like this growing up, I'd feel privileged. You know, like you have no... You know how hot them houses used to be growing up, Yeah, Sam? Yeah. You go to a relative yes. house? Yeah. Hot than a bitch. And it's proof that, that the AC is actually being worked on. With the, they have that fan from church with the popsicle stick in it, and that was supposed to be a substitute for AC? Yeah. Oh, that one? Yeah. That, no, yep. so was that, it always had a picture of somebody dead on it? That. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You know, it had like an advertisement oh, yeah. for a funeral that weekend. On a oh, popsicle I stick? You didn't church. have those little fans. You know, have you never been to a black church? Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, but uh, the, the, what are you talking Oh, the fans. I thought you meant the popsicle Yes, this. Yeah, on yeah. the popsicle sticks. Oh, oh, the, the, oh okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're on the tongue depressors. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they were on tongue depressors. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. hated growing up at them houses. If the best part about growing up in the house, it used to be too hot to get molested. You like, Nick, hey, look, no more touching. It's too hot. Don't <laughs> put your dick over there. I'm not in the mood. What it's is hot. wrong with you? Trey, anyway. Trey, the worst part about it was it would be that hot in the house, and they would still tell you to sit on the plastic. And you're like, I'm stuck to the fucking plastic. Ooh, I have no choice but to sit on the plastic. Turn you into nigga Velcro. You just <laughs> trying to figure out, <laughs> yes! I'm stuck, bitch. <laughs> God. We you get up, you sound like duct tape. You sound, <laughs> <laughs> you sound, like, a, you sound like a Brazilian wax on this motherfucker. Yes. The, the top layer of skin. My grandmother had the cover and then a cover for the cover. Wait, so yeah. it had the plastic had the cover? plastic, oh, no. and then they put a little shawl. And you put the sheet over it. Yeah, the sheet over it. That yeah. <laughs> you know, Sam knows. Why would you buy, yeah. why would you buy a couch that you were going to put a plastic cover over? Because it's the nice couch. I have because, no idea. It makes no sense. Because I was your child. And you wanted to protect the couch. No, from no, it. I understand that. You just get it. buy a worse couch. Yeah. <laughs> or get a better kit. Well, but the answer is not uh -huh. to cover your couch in unhuman plastic. And I was in East Texas with no air conditioning in my grandma's house. Oh, with no air conditioning. Well, at least you were allowed inside. I spent the time in the garage. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. I prayed for the that garage. That shit was not for that. They cracked the garage. East my mom cracked the garage. We were out. Just We would just go outside and shit locked the door. And you were there at 6 o'clock. That's you stayed outside and the garage was cracked so you could roll underneath in case you had heat stroke. Yeah. <laughs> but you couldn't go past the washroom. Like once yeah. you came through that one door where the washing machine was, you couldn't yeah. go past that. The greatest that was, heat I was ever in was the summer when I was about eight or nine. Okay. And my father was is the first chapter of the Grapes of Wrath. Yeah. Oh, What's man. going on? Here? Was, yeah. <laughs> it's the grapes of fuck you. Let me tell you. <laughs> my father had so we were going to a family reunion in Oklahoma. And so we're going with my family. And my aunt and her kids and my other aunt and his kid and her kid. So we got three aunts and all their fucking kids, right? Okay. And we're traveling in an, one of those old bread trucks. Like, a, <laughs> like you know, yes, those yes, rainbow bread trucks? Oh, yes. Yeah. My dad found one. Poetic like, injustice. For sale. <laughs> and so, hey, we can all pile in this thing <laughs> and we can all drive. And we all get in and we pile in. And there's 10 or 12 Wait, of Wait, where did the bread truck come from? It was an old used bread truck. From, but My where, dad found it somewhere for sale. Like he, a, bought oh, it. he bought it. He bought it. Okay, you, yeah. you, you brought this up like he found About it. About an was, hour outside of Houston. That's when the AC goes out. Oh. And we're going to Oklahoma. And so we're basically driving an Auschwitz van for fucking five, <laughs> oh my for five fucking hours to get to Oklahoma. It was the hottest I've ever been. And he didn't turn around. You guys stayed no. the course. Yeah, they stayed the course. Oh, we're here. We're fucking doing it. And were y'all sleeping at, like those bread trays? No, we didn't sleep. We just drove to Oklahoma. Got to the no, family. you guys in the back. Oh, we're just on the floor. Yeah, like, it looked like we. if they stopped us, they thought we were smuggling illegals. Because <laughs> we're all fucking stuck on the floor <laughs> with a little, each got a little sleeping bag to sit on and shit. It was fucking horrible. Wow. It was awful. Yeah, and there was like some fold-out chairs that the old people sat in. 
<laughs> like, well, but how, so you you guys are sitting in a circle in a moving van. In a moving van, yeah. It was a nightmare. Is, God, white people are weird. No, nightmare. This so I, Mungo, go ahead. I, uh, guys, uh, I, I took a Greyhound from Houston to Oklahoma City mm-hmm. uh, to do the Looney Bin in OKC. And like literally, when you saw the sign that said leaving Houston City Limits, the AC on the Greyhound broke yeah. in the summer. Yeah. And we've got the sun coming through glass. Ugh. Heating up an entire bus of Greyhound people that already stink. Here's what here's yeah. like, you you got the you, best people on the Greyhound. You guys are telling this story. I had it. My my AC went out one time in 2009, <laughs> and it hasn't been fixed. And I just got a new car. Yeah. So what? <laughs> so cry me your rivers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you tell me about your bus ride, Sam. Yeah, I don't want to hear this shit. Uh, I grew me. up with five other fucking kids, and we never had AC. <laughs> My parents got AC in their car when everybody moved out. How did this turn into we walked uphill yeah. three ways yeah. in the snow? This is <laughs> and I got even worse. The second worst time. You were born before air conditioning, I was, period. That's right. We had to put an ice cream cone in front of the, <laughs> the window. Hopefully a breeze would come through. This is how, The worst was when I, was, I did a, a run of three weeks. Three-week run with Stan Hope. Right, uh-huh. we're going through Texas. He flies in. We do a show in Houston. I there forgot was, you guys used to. Yeah, y'all yeah. know. And know then each we other. drew, and then we're going to drive across Texas into in, in uh, uh, like Abilene or Amarillo somewhere, uh-huh. and I'm going to fly back. And so he comes in, rents a car in Houston. We do the show the night. He comes pick me up the next morning. I get in. There's no fucking AC, <gasps> and this is like July. And I go, dude, what the fuck are we doing here? And he goes, oh man, I don't use AC in my car. I like to get fucked up. The night and, and the next sweat day, it out. and we sweat it out the next day. I think we talked about that. Uh, yeah. And yeah. I'm like, are you out of your? F-? And I'm thinking, okay, can I fly to College Station? I don't think so. There's no airport, and that works in Los Angeles. <laughs> and, I, and I go, do you realize where you're at? This oh is July in Houston, God. and we're going all the way to Amarillo, man. We'll be dead, and we'll be dead. dead. We're dead, and and so we got start. And sure enough, he every morning he gets in his fucking underwear. Comes out of the, apartment, of the hotel, gets in the car in his underwear, rolls down the window, we start driving, and I'm dying. <laughs> I've got like a wet towel from the hotel I stole, <laughs> drenching in water. And I'm just, you motherfucker. Hey, Rob. <laughs> sucker. Hey, Rob. Yeah. Uh, do you like the word cunt because you have one? Like, is that <laughs> what that... That's try, all right. So Trey try, try likes to interject. Like that. Rob, Rob has not used the word. It's been a very, very. He hasn't, but I know. And now, now you're calling him a little bit of less of a man for it being enabled to for being hot <laughs> in a car, dude. Man, the fuck up, Rob. Okay, fuck you. You go <laughs> out of here. I fuck you. Look, shit. I know you drive around in that bullshit fucking uh, U.S. mail truck <laughs> all day. I get that. But I'm fucking not built for that shit. We can tell. I am not, yeah, I am not designed for driving without AC. We can okay? tell. I know. I wish the name of this episode Get could be Sam's sh- Face right this now. This is 300 years of white privilege. <laughs> <laughs> I got 300 years Thank of white you. privilege and AC, and I cannot fucking do that shit. <laughs> it was hell. Well, I don't fucking get high, y'all, or, or this dominant race or whatever the fuck. Y'all are I didn't soft. choose this. The fucking I sun kills y'all. I am y'all. soft as fuck. The sun. I am soft. Weak. I am a weak, weak man. Oh, so I need oh air conditioning. God. I make no so apologies. Big, big gluten, gluten get you. <laughs> the fucking sun, fucking, uh, all right. everything. Y'all have more allergens, allergies than any. Fu- I don't fucking get it. You know what they call me? Kim Sung Il. I fucking can't deal with the you sun. Need to call your ass weak bread. That's weak what the bread. fuck you need to be called. <laughs> weak bread. The weak sun bread. fuck you up. Yes. Air fuck you yes. up. Y'all just mold. I'm That's just what walking. The fuck pen- white people Look, do. I'm, I'm walking penicillin. I'll fucking give you that. Oh we God. are. Everything uh, fucks me up. Solving race relations, uh, one step at a really time. End up like this. Uh, Sam Damaris, Trey Tutson, <laughs> Rob Mungle. Uh, we're going to hug it out. We're going to come right back. Uh, a lot of you are watching. This soft motherfucker. So what? He can fucking di- just fucking come disappear on, in my arms. Gonna- Give me a hug, Trey. I'm the boo boy. I'm the doe boy. You're the po boy, motherfucker. I'm the little po boy. We're coming right back. More Whiskey I'm Brothers. The Trey. Yeah. <laughs> so fast, in a moment. Question? Comment? Just need to vent? Email us at podcast at praisewhiskey.com. Welcome back to the Whiskey Brothers Podcast. Slay, Trey, Rob, Sam, uh, all of us in the can house. Can I do something real quick? Yeah, you can do anything Rob, you want. I to. just want to apologize. I didn't mean to say all those things to you. Yeah. Uh, I'm just dealing with a lot. So uh, go ahead. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I was really I hurt. I, I was hurt by I, I mean, that. I, I was hurt by your words, Trey. I don't fuck that you're hurt. Trey, I mean, words hurt. It's the right thing words to do. Words hurt, <laughs> Trey. Words hurt, Trey. You know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you I, for I that. Live with, I've lived with several cunts, you know? <laughs> so I just know how to deal with them. And Thank you're supposed you. to apologize even when you don't mean it. <laughs> I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So I'm sorry, Rob. I appreciate that. That comes from the heart, Trey. I feel, I feel it came from the heart. But you know what, Trey? You know what, Trey? Sticks and stones are things you can use to go fuck yourself with. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> One big happy family. Bro, um, I'm sorry. I apologize, Trey. Y'all know what I... Uh, I apologize. That was wrong of me. It's fine, Rob. Good. You know what I love about protests? <laughs> Tell me. Um... I, I, what I love about protests is that they are a great place to pick up women. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because you don't even have to have game. You can just yell out whatever the fuck the woman's yelling out. And, and that's it. Even if it's fuck all men, you're like, yeah, bitch, I'm straight. I don't give a fuck about these <laughs> niggas either. <laughs> I'm going to get a drink. Bro, do yeah. you think it's a coincidence that Martin Luther King cheated on his wife and held all those protests? <laughs> He wasn't even mad at some of them. He, some of them, he was just horny. You know what? That's why. He, that, you know what? That's why he had a sign that says, "I am a man." Yeah, <laughs> I'm a man. I'm a straight man, by the way. That's oh, I, I have a dream. Yeah, <laughs> big dream. That was his whole shit. That's why most you see most of his cases that he would go after. It be it be it be women that just lost their children because they're vulnerable. He go over there. He fucking sweet talking with that preacher voice. He's in there. Is that what you think? That's exactly what happened. Man. <laughs> oh, I look around and I see some women. <laughs> women in need tonight. <laughs> <laughs> look at Sam. <laughs> yeah. That's all he would fucking do. I may not be with you when you come. <laughs> nothing on all those women and shit. Little, little black girls and little white girls. Uh, little uh, Asian anybody? girls. Let's go to the... Uh, if anybody has, I've been here since 8 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> we got... Uh, let's go to the, let's go to the uh, comments. People are talking. Questions. Uh, oh let's see. No, I didn't kill the feed this time, RJ. Uh, all right, you'll hang up and listen. Um, all right, where we, Jason asks, uh, Trey, did you like working with Johnny? And uh, congrats on your win together with him. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, jo so for those of you who weren't watching, I don't, I don't know how many people caught it. We tried to uh, promote a little bit. You did the Coast to Coast Roast. You oh, guys yeah. ended up coming in third, right? Yeah. We, unfortunately, that was a it's kind of a bullshit loss. A, yeah. But the uh, the team that ended up winning, uh, you you stepped in. Awesome. And nah, fucking like, they like can't even celebrate that hard. Bro, do the you understand? The team that won was Minneapolis. But, uh, wait, but who? Minneapolis. Yeah, they uh, They won. That was oh man, ooh. they got that by the skin. What of their a teeth way though. to fucking celebrate Minneapolis! That's very Canadian of you. <laughs> two, <laughs> two days before they would have been, you guys would oh, have wow. gone in with cannons loaded. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, but they hopefully. got the win. The uh, but you but the, the question was uh, you got to win. It was the first time I think we've probably had an original uh, podcast whiskey brother and a current one of ours do yeah. a project together that wasn't yeah. a whiskey brothers project. Yeah. Uh yeah. What y'all want the honest answer? Uh, I don't, Jason sure. asked the question. It was like working with another white comic. Like I don't, I don't know how to fucking <laughs> Johnny's cool. He's all he's great. Like he was fucking great. It's like working with white comics. I was yeah. waiting on him to say nigga at some <laughs> point. He never said it. No, you got to go back like four hundred episodes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, I've heard that one. So. <laughs> oh, what happens? That one. Yeah. Nah, uh, nah. John was cool. It was yeah. cool working with John. It was. It was straight. It was good. He was good and. Yeah, well, it was good. Congratulations. I'd, I'd do it again. Good. Yeah. Mid RJ just said me. That's what you're supposed to say, right? Me and <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I what happened? No, no, I'm just I'm just You know we need to announce the winner, right? God damn it, Rob. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get are you guys ready? You guys want to do it? I let's am do it right I am now. on the edge of my seat. Some of you have been waiting. Uh our big winner of the entire <laughs> package <laughs> on the edge of his seat. Because if he is, scoots back, that's fucking it. It doesn't take He's much. a goner. Yeah. Drum roll, please, ladies and gentlemen. Justin Cornwell. Oh Yay. Yeah. congratulations. Well, last name. With, I'm gonna ring in with white. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Um, Cornwell? Johnny didn't break out Oak Barrel. <laughs> God, no. Senior Oak Barrel is a very dead character from That's this podcast. Fucking, yeah. yeah, you can no longer. You got to pay us money and to get that, that episode. 
thank God, because with what's going on in America today, he wouldn't be having a field day. Well, you know, so here, here's the thing, man. I think we can look back. This, this is interesting. I was thinking about this today because somebody was, I was getting yelled at by white people on the internet today yeah. because I'm not active. I guess I'm not a big enough activist. Uh, I don't understand. Sure. The, uh, that is a young people's game. Bro. Activism is young. When you look at all that shit in the civil rights, all the motherfuckers was in their early 20s when you got energy to do that shit. I'm almost <laughs> 30. I'm not fucking around. End up sore the next day at work <laughs> for injustice. Like, I got, uh, I got bills, nigga. What do you want me to do? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll post some shit. <laughs> yep, it's fair. That's what it's for. That's what hashtags is for. It's for old niggas that can't march no more. Like it's like, hey, I I'll chime in that way. <laughs> yeah, that's like two miles are walking. My feet way. hurt, and it's summer. Rob can't yeah. even ride in a fucking bread truck to Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> you see his fucking old ass out there. But he be dead. <laughs> Guys, we lost the whiskey, brother. To no, COVID, no. no. But hang on, let me let me tell you something. This is what's awesome. This is what's awesome about Rob's activism. Mm. He shows up today before you, before you even got here. Before we start, he gets here early, yeah. sitting on the porch because it's hot. Um, he goes, you know, man. He goes, I don't know if I can go to the. He goes, I don't think I'm gonna do that thing tomorrow. He goes, but he goes, I bet a lot of the people who go are gonna need rides back to their cars. He uh-huh. goes, I bet I sit at the end and just drive all the hot chicks back yes. because that's where you go to pick <laughs> up women. Where you go to pick that's them up at. <laughs> Only bad part, only downfall to picking up a chick from a protest is the pussy be off. Like the smell. Yeah. You're like, how you get tear gas on your pussy? I didn't know that this was possible. There's going to be a lot of patchouli and tear gas. Eyes burning <laughs> like a motherfucker. Yeah. That's, yeah, you know, you yeah, know. And what? I can't go because I look like everybody the rioters want to kill. You do. So, look, you, you absolutely. I'm going yeah, yeah. yeah. to. I can walk out there. With a fucking fuck can't you, you do Trump a, hat, and yeah, but can't it you do matter. can't you do one of these? I'm things? I'm gonna have a skateboard across my face. You should get here's what you should do. You should get a mask of yourself, and then you should walk around the same way Tony Stark does at uh, or Robert Downey Jr. does that, at Comic Cons. <laughs> it should just be you under a white man's mask, yeah. and then, surprise. Oh, so I'm literally you're going as, as white face. <laughs> yes, <laughs> That's just suggesting I do. Okay. Yes, Sam. How's New York? Uh, quiet, man. They did a uh, they did a protest here day before yesterday. Mm-hmm. Nobody even got out of the car. They just created yep. a caravan of like hundreds of cars and drove around the city blaring their horns, oh, pissing like, people the fuck off. Like you were having a great. birthday a month ago. Yeah. <laughs> so like like a like a Mexican's quesadilla. They 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 just firing out in cars. And, ah, 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 ah. It was fucking awesome. <laughs> Corona, mm-hmm. courtesy. Protesting, I like it. It's a corona I, that, aware man. They picked the wrong time to fuck up. It's a, people are bored. I know. That's what they I said. Don't ever and, stop and, fucking protesting. That's what I said. Ain't nobody got nowhere to go. Yeah, that's a, that's the big problem. And Trey, you said activism is a young man's game. One, you are correct. Mm-hmm. At the same time, though, I am so happy my ass is not in Los Angeles because I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I, oh, you would have been out there. I would have been out there, and and I'm just saying, if you bust the window to the right store, I'm gonna be like, well, it's already <laughs> open. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, shoes fell, they fell right no. out the window. If they're on the sidewalk, you can keep them. I just don't understand people. Like, oh, go ahead, Sam. I, I'm not busting in your store or whatever, but if it's open and my size is on the counter. Yeah, you're not going to walk around the back looking for an 11, but if that mannequin's got them on. Yeah. yeah. Hey, why not? Can I see a manager? I need to get this. Do you have a sizer? I Terry. To, yeah. They're not going to not get stolen if I don't take them. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> wait, this was the argument I used for littering for a long time. This doesn't. Somebody's got to. I'm creating jobs. I think poor people need instructions for these rides, though. Do you? Yeah. Cause if they, you had to break it down, if you had to give poor people a top three, like just a, if you just. No, I'll just say what don't. Do, give like, them a pamphlet. Don't steal shit you need for the house. Like, don't walk out with air freshener and shit. Like, <laughs> like you see niggas stealing household products yes. and shit along with uh, electronic device. It's like, no, nigga, just don't do that. Buy shit you can pawn later. <laughs> There, there was a lady. There was a lady walking out of Target with uh, a, a cookware set, pots and pans. She had a box cookware set. Cause she, and she was walking. It, it was in L.A. She was walking out with it, and I was just like, the you fuck know you what, doing? man? 
Nothing she was went shopping. Nothing she was went shopping. Nothing was funnier than me than the video you sent me of that lady walking out of the cheesecake factory with a perfectly intact, no perfect way, costume. Really, Rob? They looted oh, the cheesecake listen, factory. It's one of okay. the funniest. I will, I will post it to the Whiskey Brothers page. I'm sorry. That is—is is she a white woman? I, she no no no. But black perf- people go to cheesecake factory when it's open. <laughs> when it's free. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If the windows Hello. open, Hello. Hello. Yeah. 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 nobody's out. nobody's reading that long ass menu. Right. But man, yeah. if you just leave the window you cracked a little a bit, fucking cheesecake. We go to anything free. Rob, <laughs> they Rob, let them fuck up an Arby's. <laughs> you can't fuck she up an Arby's. <laughs> what you say, Sam? This this lady is not moving with any sense of urgency. No. Sure. A reporter is on the corner talking and covering the riots, and she just walks right behind her. Nonchalantly with the cheesecake. And keep in mind, this is not in a box cheesecake. No, this is an open it's the cheesecake. Display. It's yeah. the yes. display. You like, can see the strawberries on the top of it. And it's still got it's still even got like the little flag hanging out of it. Like the <laughs> and she didn't that's gonna take a week to eat. That's not you yeah. can't just go home and murder a, che- a whole cheesecake factory. Hey, you cheesecake. don't know when the passion fucking... hits for a cause. Bro, I'm you telling know, you, you, you can eat it. You gotta cut your own feet off before you start eating <laughs> How it. How fat are you? <laughs> Because most of the time when you go loot a store, so shit She's you've thin. been hoping to get into. No, nigga, fat ain't, fat ain't just physically. <laughs> Fat's a mind. mindset. It's yeah. a mindset. Fat is in here. Okay. okay. You know what I mean? I, I know some, some real skinny bitches got raggedy mouths because they, <laughs> they love sugar. <laughs> You know what I mean? Uh, no, I'm sorry, that's meth. Just I'm sorry. A, no, 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 no. Yeah, I, that's white people fucking shit. I, I, that's white sugar? All my shit is, look, I only got nigga facts. I told you that. Fair enough. I'm talking about perfectly built, skinny, nice bitches. No no molars. This bitch is molarless. Uh-huh. Because Snickers just do it for her. She is like, I, yeah, how the fat are you? Because most of the time when you loot a store, it's some shit you've been like, man, if I ever get a chance to, right. I'm going to go in there and you fuck up a Best Buy or a Target or whatever the fuck. You get the 75 inch, you've never actually pulled the trigger. That's why you experiment on a curved screen. Yeah. So you've been yeah. passing by Cheesecake Factory going, if I ever get a chance, I'm going to steal the fuck out of that vanilla Bro, bean. She has been waiting <laughs> on cheat, cake, cheat day for months. Ridiculous. Yeah. Let that girl have her let that, let that girl have her cheesecake. We uh we're gonna have to get out of here in a second. Uh this episode I here's what we should do, man. Did I you feel like a winner already. We are we already did. we I will throw every I will throw the prize pack at you. Uh <laughs> we should uh we should stick around and we should just air the second episode and just make this a big long live night. We'll take a break. Uh you uh, guys can Rob, come and go as you please. Uh Sam just sent Rob a message. Um so congratulations again to the winners. If you missed it, Andy Bull, Anthony uh where are we at? Uh Anthony Bull Arthur Hamilton. <laughs> Uh, Andy Bo, Arthur Hamilton, and Melissa Prather, our runners up. We're going to send some packages yeah, out to it. you guys. Uh, Justin Cornwell, our big winner. Uh, all of those winners coming from our um, Patreon page. If you go to patreon.com slash whiskey brothers, it's very easy to get over to our. Uh, our uh, our account and you can uh, <laughs> shut up or, or, or you guys have different things going on we got stuff going on the uh, studio is being repaired I think it got a little bit cooler in here but I'm not 100% positive nope still feels like Amistad <laughs> 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 we have a drunk doll hotline that you can always call 83 uh, What's the number, Rob? 323 510. Oh, you fuck. Shot. 323 510 Some people are saying, Leon, I know we need to go back to an hour, but we're going to stay on this entire time. Uh, our good buddy Joe Breda right. over at the Old Humble Distilling Company says we haven't done shots yet. That is untrue. We, did three. we have already what done multiple about? ones. Uh, Justin just popped up in the uh, comments, so uh, congratulations, buddy. Uh, Andrew's there, too. Uh, you guys stick around. We're going to go ahead and air this second episode live. Uh, so, what's important, don't go anywhere. Sort of uh, start a watch party with your friends. <laughs> we're and that, uh, that's the coolest thing you can do. Go to your uh, yes, little thing right it, now. It, Start it. a watch party. Get everybody to come in. We're going to be back in about 10 minutes to kick off this new episode. So uh, rally them up, man. This is a great time to turn everybody on to us. We're the Whiskey Brothers. 817 is in the can. We will see you on a future episode very soon. They don't want no problem. Nah. Music provided by Scarface. Thank you for listening to yet another excellent episode of the Whiskey Brothers Podcast, the world's funniest podcast ever. The Whiskey Brothers Podcast was made in America by Americans, mostly in and around the Houston area. All content copyright the Whiskey Brothers. This concludes our broadcast day. Goodbye.